Good morning, people. Dr. Michael here. Uh, Hypochlorous test. We actually have a System Sure Plus. It is an ATP meter that um, measures sterilization. We have had a couple people ask for different stuff, and I've been meaning to do this. So we've got these little pens, and what we do is we make a swab, and we just kind of check a surface. And this just tells us how clean it is. This has not been cleaned since last night's dinner, so we'll just see what happened. Squeeze it in there. You shake it up. What are you shaking up? This is the solution to and it comes determine with it. it. You put it in here, you close the lid, and you hit OK. Can you and show allegedly it? Allegedly in 15 seconds we'll... Can you show it? Know what we got. Oof! 2800. There's some gunk on there, lots of bacterial activity. <laughs> Yuck. Well, we didn't eat there last night. No, it's been sick. We ate there. out. We did eat out. That's true. So that's two days. <laughs> Lord only knows. All right, so I am gonna spray this section here with hypochlorous acid. Everybody knows we have a machine that we use on a regular basis here for electrolyzer reduced water. And this is one of the things that you get to use with it. Let's just see what this does. It says wait about 30 seconds. And so hypochlorous acid is an approved sterilant back in 2009. Stuff. Somebody is dancing and jamming. So I'm just curious as to what this will do. Because that was a good that was a good high number. That's why I'm not doing this test. I didn't expect it to be quite that good. <laughs> so I have just washed down my counter with hypochlorous acid from our water machine. There we go. Oh, I got two points. Let's clean it up. Hey, Dally. Let's just see what we get now. So is each of those a swab? Yep. So break it and squeeze it, and shake it, and spin it, and twist it. And we hit start. Dun, 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 dun. It went down to one. Holy shit. Oh my God. <laughs> I was hoping to get less than 30. I am not wow. lying. Ain't no way, I'm redoing that. Show it again. Yeah, that's actually went down to one. Under one. Holy, so, I'm really trying not to hold my tongue right now. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's like surgical grade. Yeah. Oh, oh my, my gosh. God. Wow. I'm impressed. I mean, I knew it was going to be, I mean, you've done it before, so it's not. Yeah, but I haven't done it in a while. I haven't done it. You haven't done it for me. That's cool. That's crazy. We did it, we did it for some. Um, All right. So now over here, I am going to do. Some big cleaning companies that we're wondering. Yeah. So we won't be using this one. That one is over here. Mm-hmm. And now we will do bleach. And this is just your Clorox with bleach. That you buy at the store. So how long are you going to let that one stay? They said to let them sit about 20, 30 seconds. So I'm just going to let them sit about 20 or 30 seconds. Better put a little, you better put a little more on there. Okay. Oh, wow. I know that. It's bleach. <laughs> I know. Kills your lungs. That's yeah, great for your lungs. 
Yeah. How they kill people. With I also cry when I eat cook onions, so it's it's okay, people. Oh my god, hurry, get that off. That's so bad. Stink. Just relax. I'm stinking. It's stinking now. I know. So the irony of it is, if you have respiratory issues, you can't actually use bleach because it stresses your lungs. But you have to use bleach to kill the virus that will mess up your lungs. So let's weaken the lungs by using bleach first, and then <laughs> it's all good. It takes sometimes it takes. Hey, yeah. it's what we got, babe. It's what's been around for years. Mm -hmm. It's it's so hard to be professional when I am the comments from the peanut gallery. This one. And in fifteen seconds. Six. Cool. So bleach did help. Oh, the bleach absolutely helped. It always has. And That's kind of a more standard. Like better. if you can get under ten, you're amazing. Yeah. If you can get to six. So just because I'm that person. 